Today, the United Teachers of Los Angeles began their first day of Occupy LAUSD. This is October 18th, day 18 of Occupy Los Angeles, and you're watching Inside Out News. So the message is very clear. We don't need funding for war. We don't need funding to bail out banks. We need funding to bail out the people. And we are the people. We are taking grassroots action. The teachers, parents, and concerned community members are joining with the occupation movement, and we're occupying LAUSD. Around, LA, around Bolger Building, LUSD headquarters, and our message is clear. We want justice for our schools. Many teachers and parents express concern today over teacher layoffs, something they called RIFs, reduction in force layoffs, where full-time teachers are fired and then hired as substitutes. They argue that students do not have regular classroom teachers, that their books are torn and written over, and that the district has a $55 million surplus. Yet nurses, health aides, librarians are all short-staffed. They're taking the best of what we got and giving it, and giving us nothing, then attacking us, the workers, attacking us, the students, attacking the parents, attacking us, everyone except the people who created this mess. So I want to thank you. Your framing of this issue is so important for us. It's something we got to continue because we're 99 percent. There's no way we can be defeated. It's impossible for us to be defeated. I want to read a list of very specific demands. People have said, what are your specific demands? Here we go. We demand full funding of our schools and an full end to layoffs. We demand an end to layoffs that disrupt our school communities. We demand an end to public school giveaways. And we demand teacher and student-led reform. We demand lower class size. The rehiring of laid-off teachers, counselors, librarians, library aides, nurses, psychologists, counselors, custodians, clerical staff. We demand an end to corporate-driven reforms of our schools. These reforms have not proven successful. There is no evidence of their success, quite the opposite. We demand an end to corporate influence of the 1% on our schools. We are the 99%. The United Teachers of Los Angeles, LAUSD, plan to camp out over the next few nights in front of the LAUSD headquarters in protest. According to one substitute teacher who wished to remain anonymous, the state of California passed legislation called Assembly Bill 114, which would enable districts to rehire teachers. The 1,200 LAUS teachers that were riffed have yet to be hired and the teachers union is arguing that the superintendent John Deasy is in violation of state law. Natasha, you're a parent of a student at the LA Uni Unified School District, correct? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Which school? She goes to Johnny Cochran Middle School and I attend the Mid Wilshire Adult Training Center. What brings you out to this protest today to the Occupy LAUSD? Because I'm in support of our teachers, because we need our teachers in the classroom. My daughter needs to be able to sit into, in a functional classroom where uh, the other teachers aren't worried about if, if their job is next. And also, we need our nurses back in the schools. These children, children are getting sick, children are getting hurt. Like I said, I gave CPR twice at two different schools in our previous neighborhood because, uh, you know, we don't have nurses. We need our teachers. We need our nurses. And oh, she's saying that. And on at her oh, and at her previous elementary school, they can only afford a nurse only on one day out of a week. One day out of a week. You tell me if a, if they only could afford a nurse only on Tuesday. What if a child gets sick on Thursday? What if a child passes out on Friday? 
What if another child hurts themselves or gets cut real deeply? They need a trained professional in there as well. So that's why I'm here. I'm here in support of our teachers, our, te our students, and our nurses, and our librarians because they need books. They, need, they, they have the funding. They have the money. So they need to put it back into the schools where it belongs. What is it like to sit in your classroom and what are the books like and the chalkboards? Are they up to date or are they messed up? The, chalk, the chalkboards in my classroom, they're messed up. People after school sometimes they they get a sharpie or a marker and they just write inappropriate things in the books and on the chalkboards. How do, you th how do you think marching and occupying is going to help the schools and the students improve uh, the quality of education for them? Go ahead, you want to? Well, yeah, um, for, currently there are 1,200 teachers, librarians, and social service providers who have been laid off from LA Unified. LA Unified, I mean, they measure everything by test scores, right? Last year, the teachers and the nurses and the social workers that they had working for the school district contributed to their coveted jump in test scores. Now they take those teachers away and say, jump even higher, okay? We need to support each other. We need to support our children, who are the future, certainly, of our country. Uh, and you know, there's just this huge inequity right now between the people who raped this economy, ruined this economy, and got filthy rich doing it, and everybody else. Well, we're here because we want to defend our students, number one. We want to make sure that they have the services that they deserve. I mean, it's really atrocious when they don't even have nurses in the school to help them out. How long have you been a teacher in the LAUSD? I'm going on 14 years. And would you say there's been a gradual deterioration in the school system, or if it's uh, been more pronounced since the financial crisis? Well, I think it was more pronounced when the financial crisis occurred. It's almost like it was an excuse to, to uh, go after the schools. Uh, not only from privatization from one end, but on the other end, they keep cutting services. Like, I started school the first week of September, and my students still haven't gone to the library. So they have cut off their library services even. Who's they? I'm talking about LAUSD. You're talking about the um, administration, the administrators, the superintendent. No, I'm talking about LAUSD proper. As an entire group. Yeah, they keep reducing the number of hours that we have for our library aides. That's one of the things they consider to be expendable. How many people are, are on this deciding body that decides which schools have libraries, which school have has nurses? Well, I think the, our board, our LAUSD board, made the decision to lay off all these people. And so we have to lay it at their, their doorstep. Do you, know, do you know how many people are going to be camping out here? Uh, right now, it looks like there's probably going to be about a group of 30, 40 to begin with. But I think it's going to grow. Do you think you'll join them? I'm sorry? Do you think you will join them? Yes, I'll be coming back to support them too. In other news, Occupy Wall Street released its list of demands and established a nonpartisan National General Assembly to meet July 4th, 2012 in Philadelphia, the site of the Constitutional Assembly and the signing of the U.S. Constitution in 1787. They plan to establish an 870 member body to develop a petition of grievance. This ends our broadcast for tonight. This is Margot Pius signing off for Inside Out News. Good night.